I think that succumbing to the Israeli offer of free trips to Israel is to do harm to the cause of the Palestinian people. Just as people who visited South Africa and broke the cultural and uh, academic boycotts during the apartheid sanctions against South Africa did harm to our movement. And so I think it's important not to go. I think it's important to refuse to go. But those who have been, I would like them to say, I was shown all the nice things, all the bad things, all the brutality, the high walls, the destruction of the living of the Palestinian people. None of that was shown to us. And so I'm not, I'm not impressed by what I was what I've seen. But I think the better thing is to refuse to go and not get bought and lose your moral compass by going because it's just a free trip. What nonsense is this? One has moral principles. One of my main reasons for my opposition to the lies of the Israeli state is that like Afrikaners in South Africa, the white settlers, they claim that there was an empty land waiting for a people. Well, there wasn't an empty land. The Palestinian people were there. And their famous or notorious general, Moshe Dayan, says with pride, there is not a single Israeli settlement that has not been built on a destroyed Palestinian settlement. So how do you say there were no people there? They destroyed settlements. And according to the author, Benny Morris, a man, I believe, born in England as keen Zionist and historian, using official uh, records of the uh, Palmach and other elements, the supposedly good guys, the rape, the murder, the forced eviction of people from their homesteads, and then a law saying, if you weren't at home at midnight on that night, you can't come home. Your land is forfeit. But you drove them out with violence. You loaded them on trucks and then said, well, you weren't home. You chose not to be at home. The lies are enormous. And I'm sorry, I lived through this in South Africa and these lies, and I see it there as well. Not a settlement is built in Israel, a Jewish settlement that's not built on the ruins of a Palestinian settlement and the people concerned and their livelihood and their children for generations. This is outrageous. I cannot possibly support this.